Hi. Well, something I've been dying to do is to just spend a little bit more time outdoors. I don't know about you, but I've been pretty cooped up inside. Well, because COVID, duh. Fun, but I kind of want to change that, so I decided why not go look for cafes or restaurants that are super, super cute and that are really doing maybe like a little bit more than above average to make this time as normal as possible for us. First place I'm gonna go to is a cute little cafe in Garden Grove. It's, I think it's pretty new, but I'm gonna go there with my sister because I don't really get to spend too much time with her. So are you ready to join me? Because I'm ready to go. So as far as aesthetics, this place has got it down. Come here if you are wanting to satisfy your sweet tooth and get a little drink because look at how amazing this looks. It just, ah, I'm ready. <laughs> A little chocolate mousse, you know, chocolate is the way to my heart. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. So my sister went with the milk tea and I went with the Vietnamese iced coffee. And then she also got the chocolate mousse and I got the crepe cake. I'm just a sucker for cute cafes. Sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. I'm tired, but you got to do it for the fluffy pancakes. I'm just saying. So the next place was out in Chino Hills. Take your seat where you can take your seat outside to enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> I did mention it was early. I need a coffee. I kind of I'm feeling a little adventurous today and I would normally get a latte but I think we're gonna do the cookie butter latte. Ooh, it looks like they have flavor of the month cap and crunch or berry good. I mean I like berries. One or two, one or two, one or two, one or two. Ooh, okay so our cookie butter lattes came out. Shall we do a taste test? Cheers. If you're more of a savory person, they have some options for you as well. And if you pick number one, very good, then you are right. That's what I got. Then we were off to LA to go try out the next spot and I might have gotten off the wrong exit maybe a time or two, but we finally made it in peace. So we made it to LA, <laughs> a little late for our reservations at uh, 4.15, it's 5.20. So I'm not sure where we are gonna go eat. I obviously our plans are kind of scratched um, I'm sure we'll pick something good though there's so many great places out here and uh, let's just go let's go figure it out because <laughs> we have to now let's go we made it okay we got a, we got little, a bottle of Frida what is that? rose rose yeah hey, hey. <laughs> oh look who it is it's bad bunny in the oh, house what's up baby the guero bad bunny in the place check out his song on Spotify by the way different attitudes you will love it it's so cute Look at all this content you got. So much. This is my workout. Hi. What should we get today? Aguachiles, please. Oh, yum. So if you have a little bit more to spend, Dama is your place. So good. I just realized, though, that we only got wine and aguachiles. <laughs> So we made it to first draft after dinner and we have a couple drinks. They brought us a flight. Let me show you. I, know what each thing. I honestly don't know what each thing is, but I think that's like more than enough for both of us. Yum. Right? I think yeah. that's like really good. So we're gonna try that and just have a good time. It's cute, it's a little patio outside in the middle of DTLA. Super, super cute. I guess normally you can actually pour your own beer, but because of COVID, they are not letting you do that. So scratch that, but you can still have a nice little beer to enjoy with you and your friends in this little patio section. I don't know if that is theirs over here. It has like grass, but it's cute. Half and half, that's a little big. <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs> So this next place was also out in LA. It's called Ladybird Cafe and it's in the middle of the neighborhood. It's so unique because you get to sit in these greenhouses if you want to. The line might be a little bit longer for these seatings, but they're just so adorable and so unique like you have to sit in them. We went during the week so the wait wouldn't be too long and I heard that the breakfast here is also pretty good, but the pricing is like awesome for being LA. I think it's thick. Look at that thick ass bacon. <laughs> Happy Sunday fun day guys. Today we are gonna go check out Stanton's very first brewery and I'm super excited because, I mean there's bars and stuff, but you know, a little brewery, the first one ever, we gotta go. So this place is called Rodeo 39. It's one of those cute little markets with new modern contemporary foods. So we're gonna go check that out. Um, 
I'm just excited to check out the food, honestly. And it is it is our soft opening, so that means they might be working through some kinks, but it's all good. We're still gonna go check it out and grab a bite, grab a drink, grab some dessert. And most importantly, we get to do it with you. If you're driving down beach, this is what you will see. They have some pretty good options out here. Raisin Canes, in and out you know in and out line is always long look at that i don't know if you can see it but it wraps like all the way around over there <gasps> how cute i'm super excited for this rodeo 39 we made it we made it and um, that's like the entrance right over there and we're just we gotta look for some parking it's a full house for sure there's a lot of cars here i don't know because the gym's here in and out's here um but it seems like there's a lot of peeps we're gonna go see how packed it really is in there Yay, so we finally made it inside, and I just want to say that I love what they did with the space. It's so nice. Wow, I didn't imagine to look this this good. <laughs> and as you can see, there's so many different things that you can come and get. Like, there was tea, donuts. Ooh, <laughs> I love when they make it a little extra. And just other things. And I love those pops of colors from those walls. You're going to notice that throughout this walk, that they just look so neat. There's the brewery that I was talking about. So we were going to come back to check it out. We're going to do a couple more laps and just see what else is around here. They have a little flower shop straight ahead, a coffee shop, desserts. Oof. Yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. And plants, flowers. You can't go wrong. It's just like the whole package all in one. There's also a tattoo shop in here. I think I saw somebody getting a tattoo. And... An arcade which is closed because of COVID but hopefully soon once this settles down it'll be open and we wanted to get our beer so we went back to get a beverage some food and I love that they have this really big outdoor patio that you'll see in a second there's just plenty of space to come out and really be able to socially distance and feel safe while you're enjoying a meal and a drink and then to go we had to go back for some donuts because why not we deserve it <laughs> Stay safe out there and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.